previously on Resident Evil. Bugsy! Bruh. Oh my god, you're the boss! Free! You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? No! No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. Bruh. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. No! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Part 5. Now, in the last video, we managed to get uh, to a new area. We met Rebecca Chambers, and in fact, he, she is, in fact... Uh, catering to uh, Richard because he has been poisoned by the giant science poison snake we all know as Yawn. Not the kind of Yawn you yawn like you're ready for bed, but the kind of Yawn that is a giant snake that will poison you. Now, do note we do not have anything to counteract that except for the. Um. This stuff right here. Now. I am going to take a look at the map because I believe when we backtrack here, there's still something in there. We there's still something in there. So in order for us, because I believe there is an herb in the top floor. Because I think I might just go back to get that and then come back. No, we go downstairs, down there, where that's that. That's continue the area. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. We are going to go back for that herb. Now, the items that we're going to be needing, though. Let's see, we're needing the shield. We're going to be needing this. Let me see if there's anything else that we're going to need. Because I believe we don't need the handgun. But I will swap the bullets out for the boom stick. And on, where do we go? And you may be wondering why we were going to be doing it, is because that's just in case something that we encounter, like encounter something that's a little more than when we can chew. But right now we're going to get that herb on the second floor on the other side of the building of the mansion. And then we're going to go to the first floor downstairs to, um... To call. We're gonna go on the bottom floor to get the um, to move the story along, because I believe when you go through there, you actually do in fact trigger another cutscene. Now I've been trying to get these cutscenes for Chris, so that way I can do it like a movie. 
just like I was gonna do with Jill. I just need to figure out which order it is in, in order to put all the cutscenes in one. And of course you still got Mr. McFady's Zombo right there. There is the last er, I believe that is the last one that is actually important. Yep. Now we're gonna go downstairs. Now, the reason why we're carrying the shotgun ammo is because in case we step on him, of course, it's going to be easy to step on him because he's right there at the door. And I don't believe we have any more flasks left. In fact, let me go and check if we have any left because I'm pretty sure that we don't have any left. Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, Rebecca, actually, you give her some time, she will, in fact, get better with the piano, because I believe she still sucks with the piano. From Resident Evil 0 to Resident Evil. Now, I am going to be playing Resident Evil, but the only thing is, I'm going to need, like, some time to get the unlimited uh, magnum um, bullets for the gun, so that way, this is the, the main gun that you get at the end of the game. I finish off the boss but I'm gonna see if I can get that gun so that way it'd be easier to get the trophy for Rebecca Chambers in Resident Evil 0 to get every single one of the bosses with her and I'm gonna try to see it not get hit now let's see do we have no we do not have any more we pretty much drain all of our resources um, dry. But that's why we got the boomstick. And that's also why we got the handgun. Just in case. So, now, the reason why you gotta be careful if you travel the same way that you travel downstairs, like the, the first zombie you encountered with that big area where you found the ammunition with the uh, birdcage with the the room that has the two herbs in it that room has now been occupied is now occupied by crows so in other words you cannot run don't fire at them don't attack them because they will attack you in retaliation you can then again you will also get attacked as well now you will be able to try to go out this door but I wouldn't recommend it if I did however get the video clip of you trying to go out this door but, if you try to go out this door, now I grabbed this herb for a reason, this is what happened. Ah, oh, man, didn't, um, didn't get his head to blow up, because if he could get his head to blow up, then you possibly will get the dagger back. He will actually get the dagger back if he blew up his head. Which is quite useful because dogs are not a good thing. Well, zombie dogs that is. Oh no, of course, normal dogs are okay. Anything that's normal, it's okay. Just not zombie versions of themselves. So that's not okay. So can't use that of course due to the fact that it's only half of music sheet. I don't know if I got the music sheet here. No I did not. I'm surprised I did not get this other half. Alright. Now of course all you gotta do is just combine them together and there you go, you got the full sheet. Me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play?
What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. So, of course, she starts playing the piano. And, of course, if it's not correctly done, this doesn't open up. Now, you could have just said no, too, so... Another thing is, whenever you hear her like this, it means she's still practicing. The odd part is, um, I believe we've done everything so far. That's the weird part because that's just, just missing the key, that's missing that, and that's missing the third room at the very top is missing the yellow eye for the memo disc, but other than that, there's nothing else. There's literally nothing else that we can do. Except for just to wait until she finishes practicing. I think that what we will we can do is go unlock that top door and then we'll come back around. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what top door? That one door that we did not unlock because um, we just didn't unlock it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least she plays the piano just a little bit more better than Chris does. But it's so funny how Chris is like, Oh, no! Come on, man. Zombies are not that smart to use the door. Eh, well. I was really hoping to blow the head off of that dog so that way I can show you guys you can get the dagger back. But the dog had other plans and, yep, they went for the dog and messed up everything. Okay. Now that we have unlocked it, now um, you can tell when Rebecca is still practicing the piano is whenever the piano is still going in the background, like you heard her playing. There we go. Man, I would like it if they actually redid Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil uh, Code Veronica. Or Dino Crisis, or even, um, what's it called? Parasite Eden, the third birthday, under the same engine as Resident Evil 2 Remake. That'd be awesome. So let's see if she's done practicing. How you can tell is if it's off key still. Okay, so she basically got almost the the entire thing of the song fixed or played right. So now it's just the top part or the the ending part of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and check on Forest because I was hoping to check on Forest uh, when Rebecca was available. So I'm gonna see if going through here and going back. Out. And I'm gonna see if this actually causes it, to, causes her to get good at the piano, as they call it. Now, how you can tell she got better is because when the um the piano stops playing. Okay, so she's still practicing. Yep, she's still practicing. It's kind of odd how she can hear the piano from all the way in the room over here. Oh, that's why she can still hear it. Uh-oh. 
You know what that means when you you turn like that. And it's not me. I'm aiming over here and he's turning like that. One of the zombies here has turned into a crimson head. Not a very good thing. When the hunter makes their first appearance, be careful of those windows because like I said, when Jill's walk through, they will crash through those windows. <clears throat> Let's check up on Richard. Richard seems to be doing okay since, um, um, what's it called? Rebecca's not here. I find it very concerning that uh, we cannot burn that zombie that's right there at the door. But I don't know what else to do or to say. I will, however, be taking this. It's not like we can aim and push the square button to... Oh, okay, never mind. It is a circle button, not the square. My bad. That was cool. I did not know that for the longest time I've played this game. I just go to straight to the, um, the menu screen and reload it there. <laughs> Such a nerd moment. Okay, now let's see. Has she officially finished playing the piano? Let's find out. That's good. Now, the only bad thing about the hunters is that they, the hunter can break down doors. And check up on Rebecca. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! Practice makes perfect. Yes, indeed it does. What's this? Ooh, Rebecca. Be careful, Chris. She looks very oddly concerned. Oh, we're going to take this. You can do two of one things. You can either place the um, the propped shield here, or if you want to be stingy, just ask Rebecca to push the, the thing again. Or play it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe never mind. I thought you could do, ask her to do it again. All right in there? Yeah. Rebecca has a look of concern in her eyes. Not a good thing, but okay, Rebecca. Now we're gonna go and move on. We're gonna get our key, we're gonna fight Yawn, and try not to get poisoned by the pesky snake in the grass. Or in this case, the pesky snake in the attic. Or basement. I think they're both the same. No, basement's down below. Attic. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, so the short hand is moving towards the bottom torso while the 
minute hand is up on top. So the minute hand The short one is going towards the armor. What the minute one? That's it. Here is our third key. Kind of makes you wonder who actually organized to put all these keys all over the place. It's the shield key. That's the only key you get. Since that zombie is now turned into a crimson head by the door, I'm pretty sure he's going to surprise us around the corner. Or right at the door. So we got our boomstick out. I'm ready. You probably think I'm crazy just going up against a snake with just um, an herb and a key and... Well, we get more shotgun ammo inside the... The... What's it called? Door is not shaky. But let's see if it's still shaky when... Or not shaky when we come into here. I'm ready to fire. Nope, okay. Because I know that we blew this guy's head off. Yeah. Don't have to worry about him. Discard it? Yes. How do we know that we don't need the key anymore? Depending on if we fight this, or do we need antidote or not? Like I said, boomstick ammo. Just in case. Nothing else more. One bullet left. I'll take the mask. No one no longer need the uh, that. I'll take this and use that. Go away, you pesky sneak in the grass. <laughs> Okay, so if we were to get poisoned by that snake, then Rebecca, we'd be playing as Rebecca. So if there's any crimson heads there, <laughs> well, Rebecca only has a handgun. So, yeah. Just to let you know that you would be playing as Rebecca if you were poisoned to get serum for him as well. So, they get to continue on. I still need to do it for Jill too, but I think I, the only way I can get that cutscene is whenever it's on easy mode. Or very easy mode, sorry. And try not to get hit too. This zombie's already probably turned. Nope, okay, no, they're not. Goodbye, Zombo. Okay, well, now that we got that, we can go back to the room where Richard and Rebecca are supposed to be at. And we can actually get all four of the masks as well. And I don't think we do need our shotgun anymore, because I believe we get Richard's shotgun in the aquarium. 
Which we're not going to be encountering any stronger enemies except for a dog or two, but they're um, a class of their own. Just dodging and weaving. Oh. Dodging and weaving. She is back and taking care of it, taking care of him. Uh, we don't need the shotgun because we're not gonna worry about that. We will, however, exchange it for the ammo. Exchange this for this and all these masks. So basically, we're gonna be going to this fight with just our handguns, bullets, and the masks. Since this is easy mode, we just gotta figure out where the guy is gonna show up and dodge his attack and start shooting him from a distance and not getting greedy with our attacks. Man, that's a mouthful. And we should be able to be good to go. Because we should be able to move onward. I'm still surprised I made it out of there without getting hit with Yon. And yet, and I tried doing that with Jill. Now, there's two things that could happen when you are poisoned as Jill. Now, unfortunately, since we triggered the uh, one of the cutscenes for Barry, we actually didn't get the other cutscene where she blacked out and were, was able to be teleported to the actual place. Now, I'm going to have to do that off screen just so I can actually get that. But I'm going to also have to do it when it is uh, on very easy mode, so I can take him down more easier. And also when, um, what's it called? When I didn't trigger Barry's uh, little cutscenes. Okay, so we got a guy without no eyes. There's your eyes. Gotta go without everything. Oh, great. Get the Windex. Got a guy without his nose here. Assassin's Creed icon. And a guy without his mouth. He's always bad bad mouthing people. Smashing. Kinda makes you wonder how that coffin fell backward. Anybody would freak out. Right, buddy. I might have gotten hit twice, but we're still fine. Because <laughs> we're Chris Redfield. <laughs> Take the shotgun shells. And eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. And a medallion for a medallion. I will take that. Thank you very much. And we just got a trophy, not just an object. This is only available in Chris's side of the story. Which is fantastically awesome. And it's pretty much almost time for me to cut the video as well. Now, since we have unlocked the um, this gate over here, we can actually traverse through this gate. Now, of course you're going to be encountering the lazy birds over here because, you know, they're still twittering what happened to them on Twitter. What up, birds? Literally, this place is for the birds. 
We blew up this guy's head. Oh, never mind. There's a zombie in here. Well, he's gonna stay alive, but I just gotta make a note that he's still alive. So that way he won't turn into a crimson head. Dog. Goodbye, dog. Hello, switch. Goodies. Now, of course, you're going to get some more shotgun shells here. Turn around. We're going to go over here to pick up another self-defense weapon. And, of course, you're going to get the almighty first aid spray. I go out the door. You're going to end up hearing Brad, I think. I don't know. Or Wesker or... One of the two. And you continue on over here. One respond. Wesker? Once chains. Tree. Don says. Wave. Woods outside the mint. Of course, he was talking about Lisa Trevor. Well, fortunately for us, we totally forgot when the dogs are supposed to be um, pointing. So they're supposed to be pointing away. As long as the dogs are pointing towards each other, I think this one's north. No. There. When it doesn't show the dogs moving, you know it's good. So the other one is located in the opposite direction, south. And of course, it squeaks like it sounds like it needs WD-40. There we go. Okay, now we get to move on, and of course since we don't have that other medallion due to the fact that we don't have a limited space like Jill does, that's going to have to be walked past through. And due to the fact that there's crows here, as long as you don't touch them, you'll be fine. Of course, I wish I kind of had a flash grenade, so that way you can flash them all. And of course, you got Lisa over here. Be careful, there's a zombie here somewhere in the forest. He's in here somewhere, he's blending in real good. Too bad, not too bad. Here we are at Lisa's house. And that sounds disturbing. And we're gonna be taking her plants because she forgot to pay the bill. <laughs> and yeah, that is good. That reason why that one is red is due to the fact that we did not use the medallion that we got from the bees which we will when we come back it's a Trevor's shack ah of course we're gonna take it this is the map we're talking about man come over here 
We don't need to reread it again. So we're going to deposit our boomstick ammo. Our first aid spray. Mm, yeah, that's and we're going to use one of these. Now, do note that um, there's nobody here. So I'm gonna make a quick run by and get that stuff for that gun. But I might just run into the zombie again, or I might just um, trigger those birds. One of the two of the scenario. But due to the fact that there's no zombie and Lisa Trepper's not here right now, that is good. The only time she is there is whenever you get the, um, the little wheel axle that allows you to, um, turn off the, the water or lower the bridge so that way you can travel to the aqua ring or the residence area. This is where the crows are, so do be careful. They're still twittering on Twitter on who got the best hair. Apparently one's angry. Yeah, great. Triggered one of them. Take them all real quick. That's why I use the herb, because you never know what they're going to encounter. It's like we don't have a flamethrower just to, you know, have ourselves a barbecue here. But unfortunately, we will get a barbecue nonetheless later on in the game. Right now, we're just worried about getting our berry gun on. How is that un not unusual when you're looking right at the button? Uh-huh. Oh, he sounded angry. Oh, be quiet. Berry gun. That's very good. Berry bro. Oh, he's come back for another one. And apparently that bird's stuck in the wall. <laughs> Okay, we got the awesomely strong Magnum Revolver gun, or the Barry Bros gun. That's what I'm going to be calling him Barry now. I'm going to be calling him Barry Bro. Because when I was making the YouTube videos for Jill, every time they kept saying Barry, I stuck the word Bro on there. So, hence the name Barry Bro. <laughs> Here we go, and there we go. Well, unfortunately, we don't need the Magnum Revolver until like the late part of the game, so we need to rescue the ladies. So we're gonna drop it off in the box because I don't know what the point is for it, but we have so many herbs, I might as well take one right now. Jump down here. And of course, we're gonna take the crank, but once we take the crank, then Lisa goes all berserk. We're gonna take an ink ribbon here. Lisa Trevor. She just came back. And let's like to save a game. Well, of course, man. Alright, so we are going to save the game right here. Now we're at the cabin. So at this point, it's going to say, hey, we're going to go online and upload your saved data to the 
server online in the database. That's why you see the data transfer. And right now it's showing me the loading bar right now. Okay. And... There we go. When it's successful, it doesn't take that long as it usually does. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this stuff off. But then I am going to... Oh... Cut the video right here. So thank you for watching. Please give a like, comment, subscribe. Put the notification bell to be updated on new content. And then go get started on the next video. Thank you for watching. And you guys and girls have a fantastic day. Bye bye till next time.